Hey everyone, I just wanted to try something new. So, as you know, I've been doing these chapter reviews for a really, really long time at this point. It's been the longest thing I've done on this channel, but I kind of wanted to switch it up. And I've noticed that a lot of people, they do something where they put a reaction and then a review out. And I thought, maybe I'll try and do like a, a blend of both. Maybe I'll do a reaction and then a little bit of review at the end, kind of giving my summarized thoughts on the whole chapter. So... Yeah, I'm going to start doing that from now on. Hopefully you enjoy. I'm very excited to continue doing this because I genuinely had a lot of fun doing this. I was kind of shocked how much I enjoyed it. So I'll be doing this from now on. So, yeah. And all chapter reactions will be streamed on Twitch the day they release. So with that, hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one. Also, I'm probably just going to do this because this looks weird. So, please. Wow. I exist. Crazy. I'm not really a reaction guy, but I'm like, eh, why not? <laughs> I know I know. sometimes I get kind of hype, so I'm like, this could be funny. And this chapter seems like it's going to be like, you know, people are saying, like, this is the one. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, sure. I could feel like I could clickbait this. First reaction plus face reveal. Stuff like that, I don't know. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. So, off rip. I love this cover page. I've been really liking these the storyline of the Germa, uh, the Germa stuff. I think it's really cool. So very very happy. And we see Pudding punching the crap out of him, which is all right. So I spoke with Zunisha briefly, but I still do not have the whole picture. Okay, okay. Just like Odin predicted, you're the one that's meant to lead the world into its dawn. I don't know about that, but I, right. all right, that's kind of, okay. Okay. It seems like he tore out the most crucial pages. What made Father Rod? Oh, this is crit, yo, this is page two. What made Father and Roger laugh at the final island? The true importance of this task still eludes me. It's not like Father was an all-seeing prophet. If he was still alive, would he still want Wana to open under these circumstances? I'm not as wise as he was. I think of the potential dangers to the people of Wano, and it makes me want to keep the borders shut. Does that make me a coward? Yo, this is gas. Off rip? This is, like, real. Like, this is crazy. Oh my god. This is fire. Momo with the <laughs> pain and suffering? Oh, okay. Oh, this fight's just over? I can't think of how else it was gonna end, but I'm like, yeah. yeah. That one panel of Rizo like, burning alive? That was crazy. That was so crazy. I was like, yeah. That was, like, a few chapters ago. And it was like, how are you so devoted? Something like that. Th that was fire. That was fire. Oh, Jinbe? Okay. In this era, even shinobi are free to choose Fukurokuju. You're one of the samurai. Why are you still here? You're one of Luffy Dono's most hurried. The preparations are almost complete? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Oh, Orochi? He better not have escaped on his own. Was that tremor earlier due to Kanjiro? Wait, what? Does Orochi still think... Does Orochi still think they're not in the air? I guess that makes sense. He w he wasn't, like, awake when that was happening. I say awake because, obviously, you know. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, is he talking about... Like, I don't even know what he's talking about. Like, genuinely. Is he talking about the island getting lifted up? Is he talking about, like, all the, you know, massive attacks that have been happening? I can't really tell. Hmm. Komorowski. Does this look like time for music? Knock it off this instant. How could you be content strumming away in that damn mask? This is life or death. It's not like you always have to wear it. Take it off. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. I still can't tell if you're real or some kind of wraith. Why can't I transform? Why can't I get loose? Still haven't noticed. No way. Alright. I used a sea stone nail to ensure you wouldn't be able to change in that monstrous form. What are you saying? I thought you loved me. I love you. Don't be ridiculous. There isn't even a shred of affection for you in my heart. Yo. It's almost poetic that your favorite song is also Moon Princess. 
he cherished it too. Kazuki Odin, my father. Yo, how can I possibly smile when I play it for you? That was, yo, yo, this is kind of nuts. Live on Kiku. Oh, okay, so we're just, all right, ease over CP0. Hmm, I, all right, so I really like that this, this dude, the mask, the mask one, was the one that got taken down, it seems. Because, like, maybe that's going to lead into that one theory where, you know... Because people think this one and the one with the long arms are uh, related to Big Mom and the orphanage. So that might explain why this one uh, member is so, like, distraught by them getting brought down. That could be cool. Taking us down from the start... was uh, Taking us down with you was your plan from the start. Why is this surviving member of the white beard crew helping these upstarts? Get Nico Robin? Just one thing after the other. This is a direct order from the the five elders? <laughs> you are to eliminate Straw Hat Luffy immediately? Yo! What are you talking about? Straw Hat's in the middle of fighting Kaido. You can't expect me to interfere in that battle. It's impossible. Oh, Drake's up? Far. We are aware of the difficulties. The world-class nature of this battle is what makes this important. Don't you get it? This order is a necessary precaution. Even we aren't privy to all the details? Bruh. Yo. This is crazy. Is that mouse viewers just for show? Hello. Don't you know how to speak? Oh, is this a flashback? Oh, yo. Young Big Mom in the flashback? This is your first time teaming up with rocks. He's good for nothing. Don't trust him. If something's buggy, you come tell me. Name's Lin Lin. I'll be the one who rules the seas. That was awesome. Oh my god. Nice to meet you. Now that I think about it, me and that old hag have a lot of history together. Oh yeah, now he's sad again. How can I let this happen? We swore we'd help each other to get the one piece. <laughs> oh, Snake Man? Go and go no Hydra? And it's like... This looks like a Conqueror's Hockey kind of upgrade. Don't talk to me about your dreams. Your dreams made the people of this country starve. I'm giving Gear Force one last go. I won't stop swinging until I have nothing left. I'm kicking you out of this country for good. All right, that that line's kind of intriguing. I'm giving Gear Force one last go. Is that like... We getting an upgrade? Is that what's happening? Like, I don't really know. But like... I don't know. It could be Gear 5th, like Awakening, some, you know, some crazy. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty intrigued. Because it seems like we're getting, like, this Hydra thing. It seems like a Conqueror's Hockey sort of, sort of deal. This is a pretty cool chapter. I like it a lot. I don't know if this is like, uh, nah, there were definitely some banger moments. Like, eliminate Straw Hat Luffy immediately. That was crazy. This big mom flashback. I feel like this is like, like the pretense mm -hmm. for oh, the pretense for the uh, rock stuff, like the rocks flashback, the Kaido flashback. That could definitely be pretty fire. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of catch up. But the CP zero scene was crazy. The Kaido scene. Oh, this this uh, Hiori scene that was crazy. Yeah, that was yeah that was crazy. Oh, this this Momo scene. That was crazy. Not as much action as I expected, because people were like, yo, this is a banger. And I usually expect, like, the banger, the, the ones everyone calls, like, a banger is going to have, like, a lot of action as well. But this is just, like, lore. Not lore, but, like, you know, big reveals. You know what I mean? I'm really hoping that this, uh, this, uh, big mom kind of glimpse leads into the flashback. Because I remember, uh... This banger for discuss yeah for sure. This is a discussion banger, which is my my favorite. <laughs> lore bat yeah facts, bro. The lore bangers are like yes yeah. This is a lot of potential. I remember in a chapter review I did uh, like a few weeks ago, I said the flashback, the Kaido flashback is gonna start like three chapters from now, and this seems like like the first step. Like oh my god, we're getting a glimpse. I think it could be cool. Um, I also really like this little scene with Kaido, like, like really sad. Like, how could I let this happen? We just swore we'd help each other get the One Piece, and like me and that old half have a lot of uh, the old hag have a lot of history together. That's I thought that's pretty cool because 
it seems like Kaido kind of like cares. You know what I mean? Yeah, this was cool. There's just a lot here, bro. Man, man. So, yeah, like I said earlier in this video, this is not just a reaction video. I'm going to give some of my little afterthoughts on what I thought of the chapter as a whole. Now that I've had a bit more time to ruminate, think about all the stuff that was presented, which was a lot. I like the dramatic stakes between Momo kind of having this turmoil of should I even be the one to open the borders of Wano? Should Wano have this risk of all these insane pirates attacking it, like right now? I thought that was really, really compelling. And I like this idea because Momo seems to have this idea that he's destined to do it and has this inner turmoil, like, I don't know if I even should. I find it really compelling. I genuinely really, really do. And I want to see this continue. Now for Hiyori, I really like that a lot as well. I thought that her forcing Orochi to be in his normal state and just, like I said, kind of like suffer. I think that Hiyori making Orochi suffer is way better. And during the stream later on, someone brought up the idea that Dendro and Kawamatsu, and that would just be like the ultimate punishment because Kawamatsu and Dendro were the ones that helped Hiyori when she was younger. So seeing them get the come up on Orochi would be pretty cool. For the Big Mom, Kaido, and Luffy stuff, I thought that was really great. I like seeing this flashback of Big Mom a lot, actually. I thought it was a great way of furthering her importance as a character to Kaido as a character. I felt as though Kaido and Big Mom's relation was going to be a lot more superficial, like they were both just members of the Rocks crew, but it makes it seem like Big Mom was sort of like someone that Kaido idolized, kind of like Ace to Tama, if that makes sense. That kind of relation, you know what I mean? And it's pretty cool. I like it a lot, and I want to see more of this a lot. In that Kaido flashback, which I'm praying is soon. It it seems like it's destined to happen like either next chapter or the chapters after that. I don't really know, but I think it definitely could be happening really soon. And the stuff with Luffy, he was talking that talk this chapter and it was really cool. I liked when he said, don't talk to me about dreams. You let this whole island starve. That was so cold. I really liked that line. And I really want to see more of this stuff next chapter because oh my god this is a lot of potential especially with what luffy said about this is my last gear fourth does that mean there's going to be a gear fifth or an awakening not really sure but it has a lot of potential and the last thing cp0 getting the message from the gorosei that they have to eliminate straw hat luffy that was crazy and i'm thinking especially now thinking back on it they said oh there's some information we aren't privy to from the gorosei I think Emu is making this decision right now. And I think, oh my god, do you think Emu is only making this decision because Zunisha's here? Maybe Emu knows, knows, knows that Zunisha is here. I don't know. There's just a lot running through my head about this specific thing. Like the Gorosei are saying right now, we have to get rid of Luffy right now. Something crazy is happening right now. And Zunisha wasn't there before. So I'm thinking maybe it has to do with Zunisha. Man, I don't know. It's just this specific idea has me so excited because instead of Robin being the priority, they're like, no, Luffy is now. And Robin was such a big deal to the Gorosei and the Celestial Dragons because of the threat she represented. Now Luffy is even more. It's just, it's really, really intense and I love it. This feels so earned and it just makes me feel like Luffy taking down Kaido is going to be literally like even more earth shattering than anything we could have expected which has me genuinely really really excited i think next chapter is going to be a solidified banger and i'm very very excited this one was great too though i would give it like i said like an eight or nine out of ten really enjoyable but not you know not the pinnacle you know what i mean that we're still gonna get there and i'm very very excited for what's to come so yeah Hopefully you enjoyed this new format that I'm kind of working on with the reaction and the review at the end. I'd love to know what you think and your favorite moment of the chapter because there was genuinely a lot. It's not just some forced question. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to hop in for my next reaction, the link to my Twitch will be down below. Make sure to follow to stay updated on the weekly or bi-weekly, you know how it is, uh, chapter releases and when I'm going to be reacting to them. So yeah, hopefully you consider hopping in next time and contributing to the discussion because 
the discussion we had after the chapter review was really fun. If you want to see more One Piece content, consider supporting the channel, you know, any support greatly appreciated. And yeah, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.